right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the fourth ever episode of Don't Talk TV. It's yours on? truly, low key. Got my brother John here with me. What's got going Kevin on? here with me. Got Gio here with me. Got Cousin Man Tavy in the back. Listen, man, we're here with another podcast. Uh, we appreciate everybody that subscribed. We appreciate everybody that is supporting, that's watching, liking, sharing, and just vibing with us. You know what I mean? We appreciate every single one of you guys. Thanks, man. everybody. But fuck it, we're here with another episode. We rolled up already. We bought a spark up. We got some blunts, you know. You know what I mean? Hemp wraps, actually. Hemp wraps. Yeah, that's cause, goddamn right. Hemp wraps, yeah. man. I was on the blunt shit. I got back on it for a little bit, bro. Yeah, it's, but it's addictive. No more, man. It's nice. It's no I like more. it. But, but yeah, man, we're here live with another motherfucking episode, and uh, we got a few things to talk about today, man. What, what you got, John? What you trying to talk about? Um, I mean, there was a, there was a couple things we had to speak about, but uh, one of the main things was uh, about the people that you keep you keep yourself around. You know what right. I mean? Like your circle. And, uh, you know, you just kind of have to be aware of your surroundings, you know, and, um, you know, not a lot of people are, are meant to be around you, like your presence, you know, your presence is, is kind of important, yeah. you know, um, no, I completely but, but agree, yeah, bro. I completely agree. Everybody doesn't deserve to be around you, bro. There's some people that. They just fucking, I don't know, bro. They want to be around you just to see yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, you know, exactly. Just to, just to keep tabs on what you're doing, who you're around, and what how you're moving for whatever reason. Just because it entertains them or whatever. But, yeah, you're right, bro. Everybody yeah. doesn't deserve to be around you like that, man. Exactly. Some people have bad intentions. Yeah. For real. Absolutely. Some um, people have bad intentions, bro. So, it's just, it's kind of, you got to be careful. That's it. Just be careful. Be aware. You know, because it, it's an everyday thing. It happens to people. You know, it could be your best friend that you know for 15 years do something crazy to you. You know what I mean? That's you just fact, never man. know. That's a fact. You just never know. Yeah, man. And and I say this shit all the time. Like, your enemy, your enemy can't stab you in the back. They can't get close enough to stab you in the back. It's always somebody close to you. You know? <sighs> it's always somebody close to you. It's never somebody that... It's usually never somebody that... That's far away because they don't know how you're moving. Like, there's no way they know how how to get to you. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? like, but that's kind of like you just got to be on your your p's and q's. You know, and just be on point always. But um, it's kind of it's kind of sad. But that, I mean, that can go in anyways. You know, I mean, if you if you have really good people around you, you know, that always support you and stuff like that, and it's genuine, you know, out of love. You know, that's that's how you're supposed to have it. You know what I mean? You can't just have somebody just leeching off you. You know what I mean, too? Because yeah, like, if you're on a different chapter of life and they're still back in chapter 21 and you're in chapter 22, you know, there's nothing you could do about it. You could talk to them all day and, you know, try to give them advice. But if they don't want to listen to you, I mean, it's not your fault. You kind of you just got to move on, whatever. You know, yeah, you learn from it and you move on. It's life, man. Everybody ain't meant to be in your life forever either. There's people that are here for a short amount of time and they're supposed to teach you something and you take that with you and you use it and apply it in your life and just move forward and that's it. But everybody's not meant to be in your life and that's something that we all we all agree with, man, is we you gotta guard your spirit. You gotta guard your spirit, you gotta you gotta guard your energy. Your energy, exactly. Real talk. Cause You only have so much energy throughout yeah. the day. Exactly. So if you're gonna use it all in a negative, you know, something negative, then or something toxic. Yeah. Then what? You don't have enough for the positive. Exactly. You know, and it's kind of like you just gotta be aware of that. You know, that's it. Yeah, especially nowadays, yeah. man. It's so fucked up, bro. It's so fucked up. People change up for the pettiest things. People change up for money. People change up for a piece of ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People change up for the pettiest things, man. And too many people have that mentality where they rather shoot the golden goose than collect the golden egg. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. It's right. like they they burn bridges, you know, and it's kind of like it's upsetting, you know, the loyalty, you know, stuff like that, you know, it's just something so petty, you know, and it's kind of like it gets to you, but you kind of just move on. You meet new people as well, you know, and it's crazy the people that you meet because now I I met a couple new people. Facts. Like throughout, 
you know, that time period. And it's kind of like, it's funny, you know, how things work. Nah, you know, God takes out people and puts in new people. That's a fact. You know? That's a fact. It Through your life, you're going to have cycles of different people throughout different stages of your life. Yeah. And you got to decipher who's who's worthy enough to keep out of those cycles that you go through. You know what I'm saying? Different situations. Right. Like, yeah. there's people that... I don't know. There's a lot of people that just... They're around for beneficial reasons to themselves. Like, they're around because you benefit them in whatever way. Like, yeah. But... Yeah, those those are toxic people. If if somebody's only hitting you up because, you know what I mean, you could provide something for them or they feel like they could get something out of you or whatever, they could just use you, that's not somebody that you should have around you. That's a toxic person and you shouldn't have them around you, period. Yeah. But yeah, man. Because I could take a toll off you after a while. Yeah. You know, it's bad. And then it starts spreading on other people. You well, know, it depends on the type of person you are, bro. If yeah. you're a person that cares about people and you care about certain shit, like, it hurts you when when people don't care about you the way you cared about them. And it hurts you when people do you in a way that you wouldn't have done to them. Yeah, exactly. Like, it hurts, bro. But yeah. at the same time, you just, you, you learn from your losses, man. You learn from your losses and you keep that shit pushing. That's yeah. all you can really do, bro. <clears throat> That's all you can really do. Yeah. That's That's the truth. Um, I don't know, man. It there's there's too many people nowadays that they've like the leeches, bro. They, if they want to just be around you for for no reason, yeah. like you know, what I'm you got to like, learn how to love them from a distance. Yeah, some people, you know, and then there's some people that you just got to cut off just completely, you know. That's but like fact. family members and stuff like that, you know, you don't want to cut them off. Com- Completely, because there's still family, but you nah, know. But even some family, you have to you have to some, cut off. Yeah, bro. absolutely. There's some Always. family, and you just gotta. You it just depends. It just depends on what they did. Yeah. yeah, it could be anything. If it's something that can't be talked about or something, but usually that's the thing. Usually, most misunderstandings are just that they're misunderstandings. Yeah. There's something that you could talk about, but that's that's something, especially in our generation. <clears throat> like everybody <clears throat> keeps everything to themselves, bro. Nobody wants to talk about nothing. Everybody Nobody wants up. to feel vulnerable. Yeah, because everybody feels that if you if you open up and you feel vulnerable, the next person is going to use that against you later, and it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. You should, people shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be feeling like that, but it, you know, it's understandable that they do because a lot of times people do that, just that, you know, yeah. like they'll use whatever it is that, that they knew about you while they fucked with you. And when they don't, they just want to throw all that shit out there. Like, you know, I don't know that, that that's where real loyalty comes into play, bro. Like loyalty is with or without you. I'm, I'm there's, you know. Whatever we went through, we went through, and nobody needs yeah. to know about that. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the money come, okay, cool. If I if I lose it, you still there, right? That right. type of stuff, you know. Uh, that's that's important, you know, because if you leave after the money's gone, it just shows your intentions, right? Of what you really want. Everybody's true colors yeah. come out at whatever at some point. Yeah, they'll come out eventually. It comes like out. it doesn't. It may not come tomorrow, the next day, but the light will show. That's a fact. And that's, that's a fact. That's. But nah, that's man. Fuck that. Fuck toxic people. Once again, fuck fuck whoever is trying to bring your spirit down, man. Like, keep your spirit guarded. Guard your energy. And know who to hang around for real. Yeah. Like, if you want to, if you want to be an artist, then be an artist. If you want to be a chef, then whip it up. Yeah, facts. Be a dope chef, dog. Whip it up. Real talk. Do your thing. God gave you the gift with the hands, and you're a good barber. Man, start cutting Dwayne Wade. Start doing something. You never know what That's life could fact. take. You you just never know. I Everybody always say that. Everybody needs a barber, bro. You could be cutting a billionaire's hair. Millionaire's hair. $200 haircut. You never know, bro. $1,000 haircut. Fuck huh. you mean. Fact. Some, That's some probably the best fade. Be tipping in. like that, for real, for real. Yeah. But nah, man. We're going to go ahead and get into the first subject, bro. Like, fucking schools in the UK, bro. Schools in the UK versus the US. That's something that you have brought to to my attention, like. Yeah, I mean it's 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 kind of crazy because I've been over there, you know, multiple right. times, and just to see the difference, I have family members over there, so it, you see how they grow up, and and 
it's just different. The lifestyle, the lifestyle is different. Um, ever since I went over there, I remember the first time. Like I noticed everybody's outside, everybody's mm. active, everybody's doing, doing something. It was like it, how it used to be back in the day. Over yeah, there. it was like it's different, you know. Right. Um, also, I mean, just the schooling system, you know. They kind of have specifics on what you want to do. Like, if you want to be an engineer, they have schoolings for engineers. You know, that's you want to be a real estate agent. You want to do hair. You want to do anything. They have specific schools, but they put you in the right position. They set you up for success. That's why yeah. you don't see anybody in the streets out there. Yeah, that's important, you know? man. That's important. Being being put in, in, in an environment where you have different platforms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Accessible for you to be able to do what you want to do. Because that's something that I've always stressed about that should be done here. Like, when I was in high school, I used to be bitching and twitching. I'm like, yo, why the fuck can't I just, like, go learn how to be a mechanic right now? Like, fuck all this math, all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? If you want to go, whatever it is you want to be. If you want to go be a firefighter or whatever, like, there's... Or or even, like, a, a computer engineer. Like, just have... Have... You know, classes in high school already set up for people to be able to do that. And by the time they get out of high school and go to the workforce, they're already, you know, a step ahead. Yeah, Instead exactly. of going through high school, you're not learning shit. Then you're you learning, go to fucking yeah. college and then sense. you're in debt. And, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you end up being in debt over some bullshit. Like, but I don't know, bro. School, School's over here versus school's over there. I feel like the education system is better over there. There's... Like you said, there's different things that, you know. Their technology is different. Yeah, their technology is you know? better. Like, the way they think, everything. But why do you think that is, man? That's like that's like some conspiracy theory shit, bro. Like, you can fucking, <laughs> like, no, yeah. for real. For no, real, I'm, like, yeah, it's just, yeah. a, I feel like it's a type of control. <laughs> like, knowledge is power. Let's be honest. Yeah, knowledge yeah, is power. Is. If they're controlling what you can learn and how much of it you can learn, you can, you know what I'm saying? Like, they could control you in a sense of you aren't as knowledgeable as somebody else that has the full fucking curriculum you know what yeah. i'm saying like it all comes down to being it all comes down to being under a certain type of control bro like everything's under control like and they're going to give certain countries certain things that they're not going to give other countries period. yeah it's it's different it's yeah. different for us you know we always been like one step behind you know and people think we're really like one step forward but we're not you know, I agree, bro. I agree. Um, but yeah, it's different over there, man. Really, really different. You know how they eat too. You know the nutrition. Like, I remember when there was a remember when the time everybody was just being obese. Literally, everybody in the U.S. like literally. Nah, like the numbers, still, the, like the numbers are going like up. Now, like, we, bro. yeah, I know, but it, supposedly everybody's a vegan now. Everybody's turning into. Fuck out of here. I feel like yeah. all that shit's. All that shit's fake as fuck. Uh, I feel like niggas, <laughs> <laughs> niggas want to be vegans just because they heard everybody else is a fucking vegan. Get the yeah, fuck out of here. Nah. Like, I, I don't know about y'all, but I like steak. I like... And yeah. I'll eat me a damn steak. I like chicken. Yeah. I like all types of shit. But I'm not going <laughs> to give that shit up because y'all want to be a fucking... <laughs> this is fucking wild. Because y'all want to be fucking sentimental and shit. Worry yeah. about your own feelings. For those of y'all out there that be sentimental as fuck, I hope y'all yeah. know nobody gives a fuck Bro, about your feelings. I hope, like, yeah. real talk. No, for the world fun. don't give a motherfucker about your feelings. You know what they care about? Money, numbers, taxes, and debt. That's it. That's it. And that's land, what the and world land. runs off. Don't forget about land. Equity. Like, yeah. that. that's all it is, bro. They don't give a fuck about how you feel, nigga. You don't care about how you feel, bro. Like, feelings are fickle. That's another thing I wanted to talk about, how feelings change so much. Like, is monogamy a thing? Like, like, could, do you think you could be with one female for the rest of your life? No, nah, but I just feel like everybody... <laughs> no, <nah. laughs> no, so you, that's your answer, no. No. Nah. You can't be with a female for the rest of your life. I don't one, know. Just one female. Faith I don't know female. yet. I'm not too sure. <laughs> have you tried it? Yes, I have. And how'd it go? You know, not too well. It didn't go well for me either. That's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. I mean, I it was just not. It wasn't meant for me. It wasn't meant for me for, <laughs> for my time. You know. But yeah, but bro. you know we're what? Young as shit, bro. I mean, we're what? kids. Yeah, we were, we're kids. We were. It was like what, like eight years ago. 
Kids, man. Wow, man. That's a fucking child. <laughs> 16 years old. Trying to fall in love on some dumb shit. Yeah. Who the fuck... Smoking hey, out of hey, bottles. I remember we used to fucking make we used to make water <laughs> water water, water down fucking chat. <laughs> nah, we used to put fucking ratchets on the on the thing, man. I remember we were on some dumb shit. When you're a kid, you're a kid, man. Yeah. Like y'all kids focus on school, making your money, and coming up first. Don't man, yeah. fuck all that love shit. I'm telling you, that's why I'm no, saying I mean, like if it, happen, monog- if it monogamy, happens, it happens. I don't feel like monogamy is a real thing, bro. You I know? feel like. I feel like you're not meant to be with one person forever. Like, there are yeah. some people... I feel like some people are, yeah. but it's, like, everything else. It's, like, alcohol. It's, like, weed. It's not meant for everybody. Yeah. Like, it's just not meant for everybody. No, nah, but, I mean, it, if it happens, it happens. You know, if you want to give course. it a try, then, man, you're not a bad person. You know no, what I mean? No, no, no. Because, I see, you know... I actually salute people yeah. that want to do it, bro, because that's... Yeah. That's a commitment, man. <clears throat> that's a, that's you saying, like, I'm going to be there till we die type shit, bro. But... Yeah, right or die. Chances are that most of the time that shit doesn't happen like that. Most of the time, people just fucking. You wake up six years later and you're like, I can't get away from this nigga. Or I can't get away from this bitch. No, for real, bro. Like, you wake up and you're like, man, this is trash. Like, why am I even in this? Like, for real. Like, it's feelings change, bro. It's like, I feel like trying to stay in love with one person forever is like trying to stay mad at one person forever. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how are you going to force yourself to... Like, eventually, you're going to calm down. Yeah, you're going to calm down. It might take a while, but eventually, you'll calm down. You can't stay at mad like that. You're going to see... Depending on the circumstance. Let's let's put it like that, because there's some shit in this world that's unforgivable. For real. But, for the most part, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, bro. That's just how I feel about that shit. Man, that's crazy. You know? And it's there's another thing I wanted to talk about, you know, drinking and driving. Drinking and driving. Hey, real talk. <laughs> nah, I just want- nah, it's not even funny. It, something happened. We're not even gonna. <clears throat> we're not even gonna put it out there to be honest because it just doesn't need to be out there. But there was a situation that happened today that, yeah, it it could have went worse. And there have been situations. Where drinking and driving has almost taken people's lives that I care about. You know what I'm saying? So, that shit's not even a funny subject, man. No, it's not. It's like, don't fucking drink. Don't be a dick. Like, straight up. Don't be a dick, bro. Yeah. Stay at your house and drink, man. If you're going to drink, get a ride. Make sure you have somebody that's responsible to drive you. Don't be, oh, whoever's less drunk of us, drive. They have Uber now. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's different ways to get home safely, man. Don't be a dick. Cause all you gotta do is press a button. You fuck around and you're that's driving it. home thinking you're just buzzing, and you, you know, you can hit somebody. You can hit somebody on a bike. You could run over a kid. You could, you know, doze off for a second and fall off the side of a fucking cliff if you live somewhere like that. Like yeah. it just, you, bro, drinking and driving ain't the move, man. It's not. It's not the move, and. It sounds hypocritical of me for the people I know me because I used to do it. Nah, but me too. It when you know better, you do better. Yeah. You know when you know better, you do better. And once you start seeing shit happening around you, where it's like, damn, my well, my brother almost lost his life, bro. Or Tavy called me that morning. You know what I'm saying? Where where Trey almost lost his life, bro. That shit. Yeah. That shit's scary. That's yeah. a scary call to get. You know what I'm saying? Like nice. because you know. It just sucks, man. It's not worth it, bro. It's not worth it. It's not worth your life. It's not worth somebody else's life. Yeah. It's not worth doing time in prison. It's just not worth it, bro. It's not. Drink at your house. Get fucked up ass backwards at your house. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll be all right. Pass out and go lay down in your fucking bed and you'll be straight. I've seen people, man. I've seen people lose their arms. Just one night. You just want to go out, have fun. You think everything's going to be okay? It can happen to any of us. It can. But you that's the thing. Know. You just got to take precaution and know what to do and when to do it. Yeah. And then who to do it with, too. Because there's some people that go out with certain people that they think they, you know, like, oh, we, you know, that's my, my bestie or whatever. But they'll leave your ass in two seconds. And now you drunk, stuck somewhere in the middle of fucking nowhere. You don't know where you're at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to know who to go out with. 
that ties back into what we were just talking about. Know, yeah. know who to hang around, bro. Because those same people that you get little feelings from are the same people that'll do shit like that yeah. to you, bro. They'll fucking leave your ass and, oh, my bad, dog. I was hungry and walked off to get a hot dog. Like, bro, you knew how fucked up I was, yeah. bro. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you knew just, you should have at least. Should have had my bro, back. You know, did yeah. something like, bro, got somebody else to help me walk to the car or something. Like, yeah, that's, but that's, that's crazy. But you don't just leave somebody there, bro. Yeah. Like. For real, for yeah, real. Thank God for technology, though, so you can go home. Yeah, man. Like call GPS. A fuck, call feel, a fucking like, Uber, bro. I feel like the younger generation, you know, they have it easy. You know, because back in our days, man, we had a... Can they can make pages. it sound like we fucking old as shit. We're not that old. We're not but, that old, but, but yeah. The, but technology was different. It was. It was, you know? man. So, te- you know, technology is moving in a pace that, you know, it is kind of crazy how... You know, I think they even have what they got that Tupac, uh, what's that? The hologram. Yeah, bro. Yeah, the hologram. That's crazy. It looks real. Yeah, it looks real. That's the crazy part about it. Like, nigga, you don't. You could go to a concert thinking that, you know, whoever the fuck is on stage, and they're not really there. They're not really there, bro. They're, and at their house taking a nap. <laughs> He's yeah. like, oh shit, this nigga's real age. <laughs> They're not there. It's a hologram. Got yeah. yeah. 200 bucks. Front <laughs> row. <laughs> real talk, bro. That's crazy. Real fucking That's talk. Crazy. Got yeah. <laughs> but for real, bro, technology all together, bro, it's just been, uh, it's been getting wilder and wilder, bro. It's been getting crazier how everything's just more connected, bro. Yeah. Everything's more connected. A little bit more easier. Yeah, it's easier, man. It makes life it, a little bit more simpler in a way. It does. It does. You know, you think but about it. But at the it. same time, it's going to... If if this were to ever go out... Oh, people wouldn't survive. People wouldn't, people wouldn't know what time it is. How to light a fire. People wouldn't know how to tell what time it is. People wouldn't know how to light a <laughs> fucking fire. Catch a fish. You're There's fault. some people that don't know how to fish. A lot of people don't know how to fish. I know. Like, a lot of people front like they know how to fish. And yeah. they never catch a motherfucking <laughs> thing. We all know people like that. I'm going fishing. <laughs> Come back with a fucking empty-ass cooler every goddamn they time. They went to the store and bought some fish. Facts. And put it in the cooler. <laughs> put the ice. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nigga. Nah. I'll be able to tell if you just caught them bitches or not. You got me fucked up. That shit don't taste the same when you fucking buy it from the store. Yeah. No one is fresh. Yeah, right off the bay, you know? No, right off the bay. <laughs> right off the bay. <laughs> right off the bay, nigga. What right the off fuck? the boat. Nah, bro. Nah, nah, but it's crazy, bro, because another thing I want to fucking talk about, bro, is rent going up, dog. Nah, we, Like, right now, this is real life problems, man. Nah, this shit. Bro. I didn't know. I didn't like, know. While we talk about shit like that, yeah. like, rent is going up like a motherfucker, bro. Like, I'm looking for, we're looking for a fucking place to go rent right yeah. now, bro, and this shit's fucking crazy yeah. out here, bro. Man, like, but they're banking. That's where the money's at, real estate. Nigga. But there's certain places that, there's certain places that shouldn't be 1500 a month. Like, there's places that right now are 1500 a month, bro, 1300 a month, that six years ago were probably like 900 yeah, bro. Yeah, that's that's just crazy. fucking stupid. That's crazy. But that's, a that's lot. the inflation. That's, a big that's the inflation. The economy inflates, man. The money, you know, there's just so much money printed and shit. Like it. That's Wait, why. Like you think you think it'll go back down though? Ever? It, it fluctuates. Yeah, it, it fluctuates. It'll yeah. go back down. It's like anything else. Is it? Like right now, houses are going up. Houses are going up. Eventually. Eventually they'll fuck. It'll be, there'll be another crash. Like it's only it's yeah, inevitable. It's, it's up math, and down, bro. Up and down. It's math. Yeah. There's always gonna be that break. You know what I'm saying? And when that break happens, that's when people, the rich people, are cash out. They're gonna come and buy whole complexes. Yeah. They're gonna get fucking loans from the banks to go fucking buy three hundred million dollars worth of real estate. Yeah. That's how it happens, bro. Yeah, I'm it'd telling be like you. That. Like. That's how the wealthy stay wealthy and the poor stay poor. Yeah. If you have a have not mentality, if you're always making excuses about whatever, like that shit, you're not gonna have shit, bro. I mean, I would love to have a house here in the states, but also like out of state as well. Like just in case anything does happen, I could just dip and I'm out to my house. 
What like, do you mean, like out of the country? Yeah, like out of the country, like anywhere, like I don't know, like don't know, Guam bro. or something, like in, in the jungle. A lot of like, I don't know. That, I hear from a <laughs> Tony lot of people. the Tiger over here, like <laughs> around the corner, but nah, that's scary though. No, I hear from a lot you of people that it, it's not the same. It's not the same living somewhere else, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once you get used to a certain lifestyle, I mean, you probably you can go do it, but at the same time, it's all about sacrifice. It's all about what you're willing to sacrifice for what you what you want to do and how you want to live. If that's the lifestyle you want to have and it's halfway around the world, well, yeah. guess what? What are you willing to sacrifice to go make it happen? Like John Travolta, he got his own plane and his own airport. Yeah, but that's an old caliber. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's right around the corner. Yeah, I know. I used to ride past that shit. I for- Yo, that fence is so goddamn long. <laughs> You forget that it's one property. Yeah, that's how you big it is. You just ride and you're like, God damn. Man. Like, this is the same fucking front yard? God damn right. That nigga shit is huge. Probably like, moving work. Probably moving work. <laughs> John Travolta moving work. Y'all heard it here. You heard it here first. first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching. Yeah. yeah, y'all heard it here first. Nah, nigga. Y'all don't think he's moving no work. Nah. That nigga's chilling ass. I was just flying his jumbo jets around and shit rich yeah. nigga shit like nah that's crazy though. nah that's goals though respect yeah that is you goals know? man cause all the girls love them you know my mom she be like oh my god bro <laughs> a landing strip with a plane in your backyard niggas talking about Ferrari step your game up <laughs> my man got four planes nah for real which one you wanna go you in wanna go day, to baby? Panama what you trying to do let's go Panama yeah. I wanna go to Panama bro for real I heard it's beautiful hell yeah Costa Rica too. I heard the women are beautiful too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special. That's a fact. I like that. Yeah. I'm trying to go see what the <laughs> fuck is up all around the world to be honest. Yeah, I don't I don't mind, man. I love the travel. I think it's you know, it's it's the world. Like why not? Yeah. You should know where you live. Like yeah, you should, no, you you should, should be able see to see the most... at least once. Yeah. But at the same time traveling is kinda of trash. It is, and it's kinda of expensive. It's not just kind of expensive, it's kinda of trash. Like by the eighth day you're like Nigga, I'm trying to go back to my house. I want to smoke a blunt. I can't get no good fucking weed out yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like, trash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go true. hit my favorite <laughs> restaurant or whatever, and they don't even have this shit for, like, yeah. the next 300 miles. It's true. Trash. It's true. It's annoying. Like, yeah, it's annoying. Like, like, I wish you could just bring your weed on the plane and just, like, just leave me alone. Yeah, Like, bro, I don't want to be worried. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, what do you got in the bag? Don't worry about it. Three shit. pounds. I remember Nothing. one time. You remember we went to Earth Day birthday? <laughs> remember we went to Earth Day birthday? And I had all the weed in my pocket. <laughs> man, Yo! Man. Hey, bro, this nigga almost fucking went to prison trying to go into a festival. But bro, the dude was cool. Security nah. was with it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He's like, he's like that. That's all you got? Yep. He yeah, had like one it. of those metal detectors with the sticks. You know, it was Yo. like a little stick one. You put it up to my pocket. It was like, Beep. Yeah, it was because the blunt, the blunt uh, packet. But yeah, but he's, he's like, what's in your pocket? Up. I was like, all right. Took it out. It's the blunt. He's like, what, what else is in there? So got the whole bag of weed. I was like, man. He's like, all right, go. I was like, all right, I'm out. No questions asked. Yeah, that, Luckily, I, I yeah I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Me and Toby were standing there looking at you like, bro, we're going to have to go bail this nigga out. That would have been horrible. No more fucking Earth Day birthday. Yeah. This shit's over. It's trash. No more we festival. Out. Yeah, we got to go home. That would have been fucked. I know. But, gang, but, yeah. gang, we would have came to come get you out, bro. You already yeah. know. You already know. Real talk. But yeah, man. Pretty much, that's the consensus of this podcast, man. We appreciate everybody that's watching for the fucking first, second, third, or fourth time. Yeah, we appreciate man. everybody that's time. rocking with us. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to come out with a lot more of these as the time goes on. So, yeah. Like we said from the beginning, man. Get used to it. We're here for the long run, bro. For, for real, real, for real. Anything that happens... You know, we're even going to talk about music. Maybe live artists. Maybe maybe future artists in Florida that's coming up. That's a fact. You, you never know. That's a fact. We're going to have a lot of different things going. But, uh, you know, if you just maybe like this video, maybe subscribe, give it a comment. I would really, really appreciate it. Yeah, man. It. Go down in the comments and let us know like, what's your how we could improve in this. You know, we want we want yeah. y'all to, to give us input on how we can improve. So don't be shy to go in the comments and let us know how we can improve and what, what you guys would like to see from us. So. Yeah, man. It's been yours truly, low-key. Yo, John. And we out this motherfucker, man. We out.